the first vice president of the Living Faith Church Worldwide, Bishop David Abuye, has observed that preachers today do not have the commitment for ministry but expect God to take them further in the field. He says many men of God today seek pleasure and leisure than in ministry. Revival time is work time. It's no play time. Work. Work. Call to ministry is not called to leisure and pleasure. Call to ministry is called to work. Call to work. You're a pastor. Saturday you are watching football. And you're expecting something to happen on Sunday. You are not working. You are not working. And you want things to work. Nothing works without somebody working it. Now, I'm emphasizing this because, you see, many, many have lost out in revival because of laziness. Laziness. Lazy to study. Lazy to, lazy to pray. Lazy to fast. I see a lot of young people today, 30, 40, they've stopped fasting. Somebody says, oh, I wish, I wish in our ministry we can have you know, an auditorium that's as big as this. They don't wish auditorium in ministry. It's when the need arises that the auditorium will be commanded by God. If there were no multitudes gathered under this ministry by the help of God, there will not be need for this auditorium. Let me tell you here, brethren, I don't think of ministry as much as I think of God. Ministry is an assignment. And before your assignment is your relationship with God. If you don't service your relationship with God, you will lose your life and lose the ministry. He says a number of preachers are only interested in manipulating congregants to give in their churches. How to take offering from people as a prophet seated in a corner. How to use manipulation on people to give. That's all he's thinking about. When it's time to give offering, his hands are empty. He said, come on, everybody, lift up your offering. His hand is empty. And so he remains a beggar for things. He's not in a revival. You need to be sure of how God is taking you, how God is leading you. If you are not called to start a ministry, independent ministry, stay where you you are. Bishop Abuyi, who was addressing church leaders at a conference, said preachers today are only looking for following on social media instead of concentrating and sacrificing for the gospel. Self-reputation. Competition of all kinds. They are doing that in that church. We must start doing it here. Looking for name. Looking for fame. Looking for recognition and paying any amount that, you, that is required for you to pay. That's what's going on today in ministry. Ministry has turned to many as from fear. From fear. Today we have the craziness of the social media. Who is following you on YouTube? Who is following you on Instagram? Who is following you on this and this? There is no crime people following you, but are you yourself following Christ? You may be popular, and be turned down by God. He called on all young ministers not to rest on their oars, but strive like the generals of God. Why? I have somebody said, you see, I read the book of Rarobot. He said, minister should rest. And I asked him, did you find out what year he wrote that book? <laughs> he wrote it when he was about 80 years old. How old are you now? They tell you take it easy as a young man. Don't listen to them. They didn't take it easy when they were young. <laughs> young man, if you are here, don't take it easy. Don't take it easy. If you are called to be an evangelist, Monday to Saturday, be in the field. Don't take it easy. Don't take it easy. Work does not kill young people. If it kills, it will have killed us. <laughs> Taking breakfast before you go for Sunday service is an aberration. <laughs> he 
if you reach that age, it's allowed. Amen. Do you think somebody will tell me to take breakfast before I go to church at age 50? Or at age 55? You can't do that. I will cast you out. I'm on business for God. I'm looking for something you are not looking for. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. We have played enough. Fire doesn't come on lazy people. Fire comes only on people who are on duty. Let's get back to work.